So breezy Friday evening, we've got the first balloon stood up here at the inflation date. So this is a lovely little balloon, a Viva, built by Cameron Hot Air Balloons of Bristol, 31,000 cubic feet. Small sports balloon with this bulbous shape of envelope. Eight vertical sections running up the white tapes there carrying the load. This is all the tapes and the fabric billowing out in between. So night falling, but that's not going to stop us. The wind is a little bit calmer behind this row of trees off to the right. This is a somewhat bigger balloon than we were looking at before. It doesn't have a parachute system, it just has a Velcro rip which when pulled drops the top third of the balloon inside the rest of the balloon. Tricky conditions for the pilot. Get this stood up, we'll be doing well. Saturday morning at the British Balloon Museum and Library Inflation Day. Quite a number of people here have turned up to either see balloons that are of uh, an old age, historic, uh, and being stored by enthusiasts and the Balloon Museum itself, which has over 170 balloons to its name. Um, it's kind of a windy day, so we're going to see what that does to people's enthusiasm, but there are plenty of balloons here uh, that people can put out on the grass. Struggling against the wind now. It's really picking up. Sun's come out. It's a nice day, but it's really windy. Not many of these balloons were built, so this is 77,000 cubic feet, constructed by Colt balloons, and then Thunder Colt. After that, I think we're calling it wraps. I think that might be it for now. So mid afternoon here, and the balloons are still coming out in the very windy conditions. I'm just hoping that it's going to ease off a little bit as the afternoon goes on. The sun is blazing away. As you can see in another balloon doing its best to entertain the crowd quite an enthusiastic group of people have turned up to see these historic aircraft um, the british balloon museum and library was established in 1979 with the aim of protecting uh, balloons which by that time had been in service for 10 to 15 years 
children were starting to come to the ends of their natural lives and people started to realise that potentially this aviation history could be lost. Uh, and so the balloon collection, the balloon museum collection now stands at 170 aircraft, uh, of which some are special shapes, some record breakers, uh, some unique balloons, uh, designs and manufacturers which no longer exist. Uh, but generally every two years the museum tries to organise an inflation day like this and bring out a percentage of their own balloons for balloonists to play with. the wind is pushing the air out of that one now. 